Good morning. This is Linda Cromar. I wanted to give you a hint. I bet you you haven't thought about if you're brand new and you just started an Envirolizer and you're in our VIP group and you're looking for a way that you can actually create your own list of targeted um, groups that you can post in with our ads like we teach then I want to give you a quick hint on how you might start doing that. Of course, I belong to a lot of groups, and, and I only use them for to get pique the interest with Envirolizer. And so I'm not talking about Envirolizer in my Facebook page or in my Facebook profile much. So if I were brand new and I didn't have any groups, I would first of all, you know, come in here right now in our Freedom Uprising, you can see that there's actually quite a list right here of suggested groups. Now, I might already be in some of them, but I do this pretty much daily, and it's got to be about the kinds of groups you really expect to want to be part of. Uh, you're going to see a lot of hype in those groups and that's how people advertise but what we're teaching is different than that so so I'm just going to use say this top one right up here and I'm going to uh, create it come on <laughs> create a new tab it's not letting me my system is very slow right now for, I usually have to restart it in the morning to wake it up come on hello All right, let's try that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to right click right here, open a new tab, so that I'm not closing this one, because I'm going to come back and look at all of these. And so Windows is going to open up the tab up here when it gets it done. And I should have started this over again before, but anyway, bear with me because I have a good reason for telling you to do this. And so when you go to any group you're in. You might be in groups. Uh, depends on what your interests are. Obviously, a personal development group is probably not a good place to send these ads, and they won't appreciate it. But you can do it to anything they are saying that you can advertise about your business. And I'm not using hypey language with mine. I'm telling them that I'm making money on Facebook simply by p posting pictures. Curiosity. You can say it any way you want. I'm doing it with a video, a particular picture that has been getting me a lot of attention. So I do that. And so here we are in this group. It's about to open. And um, you, first of all, you want to see if it allows you to post in this group. And there's 3,000 here. I usually stay between 1,000 and and 10,000 I try not the bigger the bigger the group it seems like the less control and I'm not particularly excited about one that won't even control the uh caught you know the 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 not very pleasant kinds of posts like you know the stuff that uh, is pornography and ugly I I don't want to look at that I don't want to see it and and some of the really really big groups are doing that and they don't have control over it and so uh, this one I have not joined it says advertise your business or groups or pages right here on the title so that tells me that they will allow me to put my ad in here so I'm going to go ahead and join it and I do this so uh, maybe a couple of times a day I mean I'm not going to put a lot of concentration on it and one uh, one quick warning is you do not want to um, do it too fast because if you do then Facebook could actually limit your opportunity to be in groups for some reason it has some algorithms lately that uh, it notices when you behave in a way that is um, robotic uh, even the auto poster I use which a lot of us are using has a, a feature in there that allows you to um, uh, 
post in a way that doesn't look robotic, and that's pretty important. You don't want to come across that way. In other words, at times, in, vari in variables, in a way that uh, uh, doesn't look like um, a robot is, or, you know, basically an auto poster is doing it. And so that's why I use that particular one. And so I'm going to come back. And this is actually our VIP group, which we do not allow ads in here. But there are some suggestions along the side here, which actually are good. You know, I like to do, I like to attract network marketers, direct sales. Uh, there are money niches of all sorts. You can go with those too, of course. Uh, and then just uh, join a few a day, you know, maybe 10 at the most. Don't go crazy. It's going to take a little bit of time. Now, sometimes the, the groups are closed, and I'm finding that a lot more of the actual advertising groups are closed. And that doesn't mean that you cannot be in there, but the major thing is to actually take the time to read what they wrote, wrote in here, what is the uh, title, it, it doesn't indicate to you that um, that they will allow people to post in here. So it says, um, this group is bringing together network marketers, direct sales, and affiliate marketers to help further their marketing and relationship building capacities. Please come share what with others your knowledge for others come learn from veterans today now this may or may not be one of those I might join it and check it out I'm not going to post in here if they don't like you putting your ads in here <clears throat> there's no reason why you have to antagonize anybody and there's so many groups that you really do not have to uh, try to be obnoxious about it. So I'll join it. I'll check it out. Uh, there's some groups I'm part of that are not for that purpose, and that's okay too. Uh, you want to be in groups where you just interact with people. Like for instance, uh, I have one called Superwoman Connection, Women Connection, that is absolutely just an interacting group. It is not intended to be one that you can put your uh, business entity information into it. And so you do need to be willing to check out what kinds of groups there are. And this one is not one that I would put my post in. Uh, it is one where they are doing a lot of training and it's a great place to connect with other women and that's why I'm in this one. So I connect with people. I like their content. I spend some time talking to them. And, and of course, my messages are going crazy. <laughs> Everybody wants to talk to me this morning. And But this is also another place you might actually find some of the groups that you might want to be connected to. And almost always, sometimes they put ads here, but a lot of the time there will be suggestions and the best way to find out if it's one that you want to be in or not is to simply open it in a new tab and look. And you could do this for, oh, maybe 10, 15 minutes per day. Uh, I would not go crazy with it. But again, tech, check it out. This one's got over a thousand people. It is a op uh, public group. And uh, another way, if it's oh, if it's public, you can actually scroll down and see what they're what they're posting in here. And if you see people just posting their products and their services all over the place, then it's an open group for that purpose, and and they will allow it. And this one appears that they would allow it in here because people are sharing their product and services in here. And it looks like a nice group there. There's a lot of women in here, which I do want to attract. And I mean, not that I don't want men in my team, but I am actually looking to attract more women. So I'm going to join this group too. And so that's pretty much it. I'm only going to join a few a day. I'm not going to go crazy. 
because of the fact that you don't want to uh, trip that algorithm inside of Facebook and get them all excited and upset at you. So here is another way. And then another thing that happens sometimes, probably on this one, is sometimes they have put in their um, uh, tags which I will show you how that happens because I have one that I've done that with and that's something that Franco taught. This is my own group that's uh, growing very fast. I don't even have to do anything to advertise it because it shows up in a suggestion when people are looking for groups. And I put my own ads on the top pinned and then I already have, I just already let in everybody uh, that was in here before. And one of the things I like to do for my own group <clears throat> is I like to make sure that I have tags in here that are have to do with what this group is about. And that is going to make this group show up in other people's suggestions. And that's why so much of this is happening. I'm not doing anything to make this happen. It's just happening. So let's take a look at these people in this group. And I am picky. If I see people that have no name, no picture, I mean, this is not a name. I don't know what that is. I will say no. I don't have to say yes to everybody. I don't like people that don't have their pictures in here. Uh, I don't like it when they have a logo instead of their own face. Uh, and if they have a really strange name that makes me think, I don't, you know, I'm wondering what that means because that's not a name, I don't think. Um, sometimes if they have a foreign name that I don't understand because of the fact that that is the ones that generally do um, the, <clears throat> the pornography and I have been able to control the pornography just by controlling who comes into my group. And I like to keep it with people that have names that make sense. For instance, Poet Kiss. That's not a name. I don't know why she has that name. And this, I, I'm not going to get too worried if, if they don't use their face, if they have a real name. Lisa Love Life may be her real name. I'm not sure about that. I must have hit the wrong uh, ignore. But anyway, then once I have, oh, once I have um, completed that and I'm happy with the list I have, then you can hit approve all. I'm not going to do that right now because I might do a little more checking before I say yes because I am concerned about keeping my group clean. It's important to me. So if I went, come on. <laughs> anyway, if I went back and I looked at my stream, yeah, we can do it now. You will see that they're real marketers. They're, I mean, they're people just like myself that want to create a business. They have, for the most part, nice looking ads. There isn't too much real spammy, ugly stuff going on because I'm being concerned about who it is. And, of course, I post there, too. And, uh, like I said, there's, there's quite a bit of activity going on all the time. And this is probably one of our people, it looks like, or it could be. I mean, they're copying us. Maybe not, but uh, it kind of looks like they're copying what we've been doing. This kind of thing, where is he? This kind of thing is actually very attractive. This is what you want to, to do. You want your own pictures of your family having a good time. And I don't know whether this is his picture or something he found on the Internet. But this is what you want to do. Because doesn't that really stand out, that picture? That picture makes you say, I want to know more. Uh, whereas that certainly doesn't make you excited, does it? <laughs> so that's what I have to share with you this morning. Uh, join the groups uh, with a real target in mind of what you want to accomplish with the people 
uh, because you're going to be attracting the people that you want into your team from the groups that you choose to be part of and the groups that you create yourself. So there's my tip for the day, and I hope that helps. 